All right, today is a day dedicated to being thankful. So how can we take that message and carry it over into our daily lives? Pastor of First Baptist Church, Dallas, Robert Jeffers, is here with a Thanksgiving message that every family should hear. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving to you. Thank you, and to you as well. So how important is it for families to take the time today as they're sitting down to eat to just be thankful for one another? Well, it's crucial to do today and every day. God meant for Thanksgiving to be more than just a once a year turkey fest. It's to be a way of life. And you know, studies have shown that people who regularly express gratitude to God and others for the good things in their lives enjoy a healthier outlook on life than those who don't. I think we have to admit that doesn't come naturally. All of us can go negative very quickly. And that's why I'm encouraging people to engage in what I call the gratitude challenge to develop their gratitude muscles. And it's very simple. I'd encourage our viewers to make a list of three things for which you're grateful, good things in your life, and express gratitude to God once a day for those three things. Do that for 30 days and see if your outlook on life doesn't improve dramatically. In fact, to help people do that, we've developed the gratitude card to list those three things on, and we're making it available free of charge to all of our viewers today simply by going to ptv.org. Well, Pastor, it's a, it's a great message, and we really appreciate it. But last hour, you actually said something that, that struck me, and that was the, the amount of negative energy, negative news in the world right now. It's a very tough time, I think, to be alive. It's just there's a lot of scary things in the world right now. You say this will help. That's right. You know, expressing gratitude is a great antidote to worry. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing, but with everything in prayer and thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And, you know, just offering thanks to God for the good things in your life can make uh, anxiety and worry dissipate. I mean, we all are facing, you know, whether it's earthquakes, terrorist threats, potential conflict with North Korea. There are a lot of negative things to concentrate on. But when we thank God for for the good things in our life, it makes those things uh, go away. And so, again, it's a powerful antidote to worry to concentrate on the good things God has done for you. All right, Pastor Robert Jeffers, thank you so much for joining us. And, you know, I guess it wouldn't hurt if you don't have this card, just, you know, get That's out right. a pen, piece of paper, That's write right. down what you're Write it down. Thank you, sir, and happy Thanksgiving.